Well, I, I always had an a interest in doing music for television. You know, I, I always had a curiosity of how did they marry this music with this picture. So I really wanted to do television commercials. I would have loved to start off doing films, but commercials was a more viable means for me to get started. So like anything else, like with music, it's like, okay, how do I start? So I went and I got this book called The Book of Lists. It's a book that lists all of the advertising agencies, and not only agencies, but all of the businesses in the Atlanta area. But I wanted to target the, the agencies because that's who was producing the commercials. And uh, so I got this book a list, and I just basically started cold calling. You know, I, I would say, I, I call up, I, I knew that the person who handled the majority of the production was the vice president of broadcast. So I would ask who the vice president of broadcast is. Uh, you know, first I would, I would already know who it was, so I would call the agency and say, hey, look, I'm a Kamal Malak from Arrested Development, and I'd like to uh, speak to the broad, uh, VP of Broadcast because I'm interested in doing music for television. I have a large library of, of cues, and you know, who, who do I talk to? <laughs> so uh, just knowing uh, that, uh, they would say, okay, well, so-and-so is the VP of, of Broadcast, you know, they get me through because the Arrested Development name had a really good, good name behind it, a really good vibe, and a lot of the productions would want that type of sound. So my first gig was with um, a uh, agency called West Wayne, and the uh, VP of Broadcast was John Adams. I'll never forget John. It was a really amazing experience. He invited me up. He knew the, of the group, and they, uh, at that particular time, they had uh, the Bell South account. And they also had a, another company called Resolve, which um, was a Midwestern company. Um, uh, but, but Bell South was a major account. So he asked me, it was just, I'll never forget this. He, he said, we have about $15,000 to do uh, two 30-second uh, spots, you know, 15000 for each spot. And my jaw, I, 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 I knew my jaw must have hit the ground, but I tried to keep it together, and he asked if that was enough to do these two spots. I was like, uh, yeah, that would, that would be enough. Yeah, I could do this. <laughs> so so uh, I got those uh, accounts, and uh, I did two spots, and uh, one was called Relationships, and the other one was um, uh, Being Together. So the Relationship spot, I finished that, and I'll never forget this. When I turned it in, they loved it. They gave me a standing ovation in the office. And that really just made me feel as though this is, it was, it was confirmation that this is for me and this is what I wanted to do. And I want to continue on doing this. So from that uh, account, I went on to do like a lot of the uh, Georgia Lottery spots. Uh, and then I also got a... a, a it was networking, and I got involved with Coca-Cola through an agency called McCann Erickson. And uh, I did Sprite Spots, Coca-Cola, um, uh, Cherry Coke. I did the theme song for Cherry Coke. They came out with a new can, so I, I did a new uh, theme song for that. And this was all through networking. And it's like with anything else. It's like a snowball effect. You get one and you do a good job on it, then others come and people want to be a part of that success. And that's how I started in commercials, commercial music and you know, continuing on to doing commercial music.